when you create a new file in AutoCAD, uh, you will probably have noticed that if I go here and click on new, AutoCAD will ask you to select a template previously or before actually opening the new file. This is because you can start your drawing from a predefined template file that will, again, preset many things uh, for you in order for, to save you work. So for example, you can select uh, an AutoCAD ISO template. So it will have all the ISO predefinitions uh, already set. Or you can also create your own template file so you can change things like the units. Let's say the default of AutoCAD for units is decimal. Let's say you want to change it in um, architectural, for example. You can make those changes and also maybe add a title block with your name and uh, specifications of your drawing and save it as a template. And the next time you need to work on the same type of files, instead of creating a new file and having to create the title, f the title block again and having to change the units and all that, you just start from that template and all that is preset for you. So normally we, all, we always open the default template, click on open, and we work on our drawings. So if you want to create a template, you do the same thing, but then change the things that you want to change. If I go to the menu browser here and I change the units, for example, and I put units architectural, and then click OK, and let's say I just put a line here, and uh, I can write a name or put, put whatever you want, or anything that you think that you will be reusing over and over and over, and then let's say you want to save this as a template, then you go back here and you click on Save As, and instead of saving it as a normal AutoCAD drawing file, you save it as an AutoCAD drawing template that has an extension of DWT for drawing template. Now you click on that, you select a name, in case I'm going to name it test2, and you click enter. Now when you create a new file, and you will be prompted again to select the template, you can go ahead and choose the template that you have created. And the units, for example, will be set to of course, whatever I said it on the template, which is um, architectural and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, like any other template that you use in a web page, when you are programming in a web page or when you are creating a Word document, AutoCAD has also these very useful templates. But now you may wonder, well, what is the difference between a normal template file, a D, um, yeah. DWT file against a DWG file or a normal AutoCAD file. What if I just create a normal AutoCAD file naming as template and then just keep using that? Wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be the same? It will be similar but the only f caveat is that the normal file is very easy for you to just make changes and then overwrite it or save it on top of it. So instead the template file is designed such as once you have a template file open like I have test2.wdt and let's say I make a change here by mistake when I click on save it's not going to allow me to save the changes on that template it's actually asking me to create a new file based on that template so the possibility of overwriting whatever you had done previously in your template it's, in, it's, it's gone. There is no possibility of doing that. And this will actually be very useful, you know, in case you have a lot of templates and you are, are using AutoCAD um, in different projects.